this is your daily briefing and you're most welcome to it. Um, congratulations are in order uh, to Villarreal players um, on loan, Giovanni Lo Celso um, and former Spurs players, Serge Aurier, Juan Forth and Etienne Capou for reaching the quarterfinal of the UEFA Champions League. It's funny how these weirdo players can't do anything at this majestic club with these amazing facilities, billion pound stadium, but they go off somewhere else and they kind of, their CV just sort of, you know, just elevates. Can't get my head around that. Must be an anomaly. Surely they're the only ones that have gone on and had success elsewhere. Um, Tottenham with another emphatic win against a side on the skids, a side in the bargain basement of the Premier League. Um, this is a side that almost certainly never see European football in my lifetime. That's the yardstick, I think. Um, unlikely to win a cup of any description. Um, and if you think I'm being harsh on Brighton, they didn't have a single shot on target. They were playing at home. Um, whatever the voices in your head are telling you about Graham Potter, tell the voices to shush, because he's not very good. Um, let's just take a moment as well, while we're here, I know we go over this all the time, but understand a, a particular truth about football, winning is everything. So if you want to be entertained, go to the opera, you, you know, rent die hard, guaranteed entertainment there. Spurs are only occasionally entertaining, occasionally win t uh, games, but don't win trophies or championships anymore. Last night was really, really difficult to watch. If you disagree, put it in the comments and just set me straight. I'm happy to be proven wrong. I'm very happy. I just don't think there's anybody out there capable of doing it in a convincing manner. Um, Spurs, what are we? We're the dowdy bridesmaid, the spinster in the £4,000 dress. Um, Conte says Harry Kane deserves to win something. This is one of the loneliest statements I think I've ever heard in football. Losers occasionally deserve to win things, you know, sort of hey-ho, kind of shoulda, woulda, coulda, but winners go home and stop the prom queen. Um, and, you know, this 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 is the reduced to clear section of football here. We're, to, we're, we're, we're way past the border. We're in downtown reduced to clear. Um, Harry Kane has now equaled Robin Van Persie's Premier League record of 39 goals, not 36, 39 goals, with his weaker foot. Yeah. I hope the lack of noise on my tape on, on, on this is matching the lack of noise at your end. This is, this is, this is the weeds of stats here. He's matched somebody who no longer plays, uh, you know, he's a player from yesteryear at Arsenal. He's matched a record of scoring 39 goals with his weaker foot. I just can't even mentally kind of, like, digest that. What is he? Um, and there's another one. There's another one. Don't worry, there's another one. Harry Kane has now scored 95 goals in 139 appearances, appearances away from home in the Premier League. Uh, becoming the competition's all-time top scorer in away games. Despite making 104 fewer appearances than second place, Wayne Rooney. Um, and this is, this is where we are. Record of goals scored on your weaker foot and a record of goals scored away from home. Uh, this, this, this is the sort of stuff, as a kid... You know, you used to get like the Guinness Book of Records for Christmas. Anybody else out there? Yeah, I used to get that book for Christmas occasionally. And you'd go through it because you knew all the big stuff. You knew that the fastest person, 100 metres, you knew all those things. You're the first man on the moon or whatever. You know, you knew all those. But look, 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 mum, mum, mum. There's a bloke here who can shove 24 plastic forks up his bottom. This, this is where we are. Um... Here's a photo. Here's a photo that's been that has been getting social engagement, engagement, fan engagement, social engagement. Harry Kane kicking a bottle of pop, and the the intellectual um, uh, geniuses, the, the the wisdom mongers, that go to the pressers. They asked Conte if he'd seen that.
Um, Spurs laboured past Brighton. I didn't actually watch the whole of the game. Got fed up with the whole stream thing since they got rid of Hez goal. Um, that's begin, become extremely murky. You're going to recommend IPTV to me, but we live kind of in the middle of, almost in the middle of nowhere. Got a satellite, got BT, but the broadband just doesn't doesn't support that, so it's not an option. Um, so Spurs laboured past Brighton. So there's some really big numbers in here, isn't there? There's a, there's a juicy feast um, to, to, to be um, fed on after the game. Most attacking third passes were made by Pas Pascal Gross and Solly March. Um, same two Brighton players produced the greatest number of successful crosses. Um, Spurs, wing, wing, Spurs wing backs were dreadful. Um, reborn Matt Doherty lost the ball 12 times and on seven occasions this was in his own half. Reggie gave the ball away 17 times and on 13 occasions this was in his own half. These two aren't fit for purpose. You can wheel them out against Brighton and despite being a bit inept, They'll get the job done. But we're in no way near the level we ought to be. No way near. A million miles away, and I'll, I'll come on to that. Um, loss of possession resulting in a shot on goal, right? Brighton 5, Spurs 6. So that tells you the side that got beat 2-0 almost matched us for stupidity when it came to actually retaining the football, keeping it at our feet and not, not accidentally giving it to the opponent. Um, Kulewski attempted 10 dribbles, but only completed four, which was twice as good as Matt Doherty, who attempted six and only completed one. Um, positives for me, I think the Eric Dyer um, comedy bandage has got to stay. I'd write that into his contract, um, and yeah, he should wear that all the time. Um, as my interest was waning, now it didn't convince me to keep watching for the entire 90 minutes, but as my interest was waning, the comedy bandijo, I thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah, it's about time we had a player that looked like sort of, in fact, get him, he can't do it because you've got to all wear the same kit, but that sort of Rabsy Nesbit look, I think that's tremendous. Um, yeah, and this is it, this is the, this is the feast, because I, the misrepresentation of our results and our games this season there's something else some media outlets are telling us that we're only two points off fifth place with a game in hand so what's my argument with that what's what's bad about that well i've told you dog chasing cars what would we do if we got into europe we'd be humiliated we were humiliated last time we're in no better position we're no better place than we were when we were last in europe my dog, whose joints are now feeling the ravages of uh, the onset of arthritis, yeah, I'll tell you about him, he's only 238,000 miles from the surface of the moon. So my dog is, is closer to walking on the moon than we are um, of uh, winning the league or doing anything mean, meaningful should we secure a top four place. That's it for now. I wish I had more joy for you, um, but I, I've, I've got to go and do um, some children's parties. Good luck. Keep it on.